All right, this is a electric pressure washer. So if you want to spend a lot of time outside, use that. Other than that, throw this to the curve. And get you something like this. Gas 33 psi 2.4 gallons per minute, and you want to get a Honda in. If you know about Honda, that's what you want. This is a good picture of it. I haven't seen anybody do a video on this, so here I am. Uh, this is a this is a G. C V 200 and it's a 2001 model so we're about to take it for a ride you got your two year on your engine two year on your pump five year on your frame I don't know why they did that on the frame because <laughs> the frame will be the last thing that's going to go wrong with this thing so anyway let's give it a this Let's get with the pump. Not the main event. All right, this is what you want right here. Thirty-three hundred psi GCV two hundred. It's a Honda. It's an easy start, high performance. All right, you see everything sealed. They didn't put a seal on the on the oil thing right there, but anyway, here's your the sprayers. You got zero. Then you got fifteen. Then you got 40, and then that's your high pressure one. That's the one for your soap, right there. So you want to wash your vehicle or whatever you want to do. Here's the little wine that comes with it. All right, here's your sprayer. It's your sprayer right here. See it's sealed off. Everything's brand new. This is where you put your soap. And for you mad scientists out there that don't know how to do anything, you open this cap and put your soap inside. Only the soap. Not no soap you use around in the house. You got to use the soap for these things or you're going to mess something up. Anyway, there's the spark plug. All right. These things come with quick connects. There's the quick connect right there. And there's the, the wine right here. You don't want to drop it like I did. Anyway, you can't put a quick connect on a quick connect. All right. Got this in right here. See that? Stick that in there. So that gets put that joke in there hard and turn this good deal here. Put it on there. Then you can just grab pull one of these out. Just for example. Pull the sleeve back. This is quick connect in. Put 
push that in there firmly and push the sleeve back up. Make sure it won't come out. And that's together. Now you can hang that back up on the side because we're not going to use it right now. Okay. For you beer drinkers, here's a place you can put your beer. Or you can put a can of some other stuff that I'll tell you about later. Anyway, here's the, the holes. They say it's 30 feet. I'm not going to put a measuring tape to it, but you're welcome to after you buy one. Uh, down here, on this side, this is where you put your water hose. And on the other side is where you put this. And then the other, this, the other end of this, go here. You take this cap off. Let me check the camera, make sure I'm close enough so you can see this stuff. Which I'm not. So let me move this closer. One second. pump set up down there like I said this is where you put your water hose you pull this black cap off and that's where you put this in on there and you push it on there just like the, you see me do this right here you push it on there and then you screw this on the threads which is right here okay this holes right here this is where your soap go in coming from your container up front. All right. That's what you do with that. Turn this thing back around. Let me take this off. Okay. This is a gas can. I don't know if you can see that. Let me back the camera up some more. Scientists want to go get one of these and put gas in it. Okay. You can go to Walmart and get one of these. Other than that, you're going to get robbed at the auto parts or any of the other stores. For instance, $15 anywhere else other than Walmart. You go up to Walmart, you're going to pay less than 10 And that's a one gallon. This is where you put your gas. This is where your, your air filter is right here. You got two tabs right here. You push down on them, pull this off. Here's your air filter. This is simple on changing the air filter on your magnets. All right. Then to put the air filter back in there, you just set it in there in between the grooves like a puzzle, you know, set it on up in there, put you back in there flush, take this, you got these little tabs at the bottom, and you got these little hooks right here that that sits on top of, set it in there like that, lift it up, push it on there, snaps in place, all right, right here, where you pull your string and start it up. Okay. Uh, you got your, your big tires right here. And uh, show you something else. And here on the back, when you're putting this thing together, you're going to have two screws. There's one, there's one, they're about that long. You stick them first you put this piece on here because you can see it's, it's kind of looped in here to, to hang around to hug the sides 
of this bar right here. You can stick it through and you screw these on. Make sure you put these to the inside, not to the outside, because you got your wand and your pressure thing, your gun things here. So if it's on this side, it's gonna hit it without the wine on it because the wine goes on the other side so it would hit it on the other side too. Well, anyway, let's speed this up a little bit. Then you have this piece. You got a little, two little bitty holes right there. You stick that in there. This is to hang your hose on. And uh, bottom of your gas tank, this is your gas line going all around. Over on this side. This is where you start it up. All right, let me, make, let me check, make sure my camera's in the right spot. Okay, all right, now, right here, this is where you turn it on. But you don't want, you're not ready to turn it on yet. It's in the off position right here, right in this next spot. Probably can't see it, but it says fuel off. And then up here, it says, on. So the one thing about this one is uh, if you look in some of, some of the other videos where they're talking about you got to put the choke on and then turn the choke off once you get started. Well, new technology. I'd like to introduce you to it. This one right here, when you go to turn it to the on position, you also going to turn the fuel on at the same time. And this one, you don't have to worry about choke. See, there's no choke thing nowhere around here. So therefore, once you move it all the way around, everything's all set. Then when you start it up, it gets a, it gets to running like it's supposed to, and then it automatically takes care of the choke part that you don't have to. All right, so if you get mad enough, you can go choke somebody else, but don't do that. Okay? Just joking. Don't take me serious on that. So anyway, cutting this back to the off position. See? It's all, everything's all still wrapped up and everything. This tag right here says no oil in engine. Fill engine with S A E. 10W30 is the oil, 10W30 oil to the upper mark on the dipstick, okay? And you can read the rest of that after you buy it. Let me turn this around. Okay, this is your muffler setup right here. I already told you about the spark plug in you want to change that whenever just read the direction um, this is where the oil go here's the oil stick for some reason they don't have that taped off like the other ones let me get a paper towel oh by the way here's the, the oil that comes with four cycle engine oil see it says 10w30 right there so we set that to the side. That's pretty good that you can just squeeze, take the cap off, squeeze that, put it in there, and fill it up with oil. These are the, the manuals that come with it. You don't have to worry about that. Look at it at your leisure. All right. So let me get a paper towel here. You want to make sure that it don't have any gas in it. So I'm definitely gonna check for that when, when I take this sticker off. So I'm gonna pull this oil stick out. It's the oil stick, this is where you measure it. And for some reason, there's something on it. So that means there's something in the engine. Which the tag right here says, no engine oil in there. So, put this sticker down there, turn it, tighten it, loosen it, 
Go to that gap. Just a little bit on the tip. Just a little bit. Put some little bitty circles down there. I don't know how tight I can get in on that where you see that. But it's little bitty circles right there. And it's on that one little circle at the bottom. So, I guess that's the oil they put in it to test it. And then they drained it out. Anyway, put it back in there. I'll put oil in it later, but it's no biggie right now. Um, look all around here. There's no drain hole to drain the oil. Stop clicking now. See? There's nothing. Flip it around this way. Nothing. Flip it around the front. Nothing. Nothing you can get to anyway. Yeah. Turn it around this way. To the other side. Again, where the muffler is. Nothing. So, the way to drain the oil out of this thing is like this. Tip it over. And drain it out that way just like that just the way they want you to do it that's it why they want you to do it like that is uh is on me but anyway that's pretty much all you need to know right now Loosen this, pull this line back off. Hang that back up there. Put the line back up on the other side. Put the holes right here. So anyway, you always want to check first. Check and make sure that everything is everything. When you take this thing out of the box, there's not much you're going to need to do. Okay? This is all going to come together. This piece is already going to be screwed to, to it. This, the gun, and the wine, and the holes, 30 foot holes, what they say. And the hose holder is going to be loose. See, so this is pretty much going to be the first thing you take out of the box. It's going to be this piece right here. And you're going to have the holes here and the other holes through this box. And like I said before, you stick them in through this way, lining up the holes, and then you screw this on. It's going to have a little gap in between there for some reason. And then you just, you just push it on, line the threads up, and keep screwing it. And then it'll be tight like, like it is now. And if you want to collapse it, loosen these up good enough that this will lift off. And then you can pull it down this way. And this will collapse this way. And you may not... I haven't tried it, but you may not have to take the screws all the way out. All right. So, that's the main part of this thing. Like I said, this is, a, this is a, the date on this. It's a March of 2021. You want to check the oil. You want to make sure it don't have any gas in it or anything that don't supposed to be in there because they want to ship these things the best way they can with no with no fuel and no oil in it. that's the reason why it's supposed to be empty but like I said it was a little bit on the on the on the tip 
of the oil stick. So I would say that's for testing. So that's basically the, the residue that was inside the walls when they drained it out. It all settled at the bottom, that's all it was. So anyway, going back over this, in the off position, you don't have to worry about a choke. Fuel off right there and on. You don't have to worry about a choke because this is the new thing right here. You turn it all the way, there's no click in between there, nothing like that. No pause on this switch. So it's doing everything all at once. Turn it on the fuel and turn it out. All right. So that's what you do after you put oil in it first and you put gas in it. And as you go up to the pump, you see it says 86 octane, no less than 86 octane gas you want to put in this according to the manual. So anyway, to turn this thing on, do that, turn it to the on position, and you pull the string right here, slide it up. All right, that's how you do that. But before I happen to show you this, this other stuff, um, what you want to do after you get your holes connected here and to the back of the unit, like I said, you put the water holes here and you put the other end of this, you push it in there because this kind of slides and you screw it onto the threads on this side. All right. And to know where the pop, where the pressure holes go is just look right here because you see where the soap go in there, okay? But before, even before you start it, one thing you want to do, you want to turn your water on, okay? Then you want to come to this gun and have a little switch right here where you can lock it so the kids don't mess with it, all right? Push that up and then you can pull it. But anyway, you turn your water on because you got air all in here and you got air in the pump. So what you want to do, turn the water on, pull this trigger back and water start, eventually starts squirting out. But first it needs to force all the air that's out of everything. Very important that you do that before you crank this thing up, okay? After you get a good stream, steady stream coming out of it, like you like a spray bottle, because I don't have to do all that other demonstration stuff because it's kind of sense you already know you've seen this stuff. So anyway, when you get a steady stream of water coming out, depending on what nozzle you have on there, then you're ready to start it up. So if you can, you can hold this and start it up at the same time, okay? Got your water coming out. You come over here, you turn this to on, and then you pull it. Again, after you put your oil and your gas in, and you're ready to go. That's all you need to do. And uh, let me show you something. Else. Show you something else, man. All right. This here, this is uh, what they call, what's called pump setting, all right? From Ridge and Stratton. Show you how to do this right quick. After you finish using it, after you finish using it, you want to screw this in and 
shake the shake the can up. You want to screw this in right here where you put the water hose. Okay, screw that on there, and then you squeeze the cap. Some foam going to run through your pump, and it's going to squirt out on the other side. So you don't want to be in the way. You don't want any kids in the way either. Stand to the side, you put your towel up there and push the button. It's going to go in here and it's going to shoot out on the other side. Once it's shoot out on the other side, you're done. That's for your uh, storage. So when you when you finish with it. Alright? Now you got something else to done. All right. Let me get something. It's going to do your walkway. Get what it is. This is 15 inch. Okay? 15 inch pressure washer surface cleaner. This will save you back. This is going to simply roll around. It's going to roll around as you do it. Okay? You got your jet down here at the bottom. This spins around and shoots water out in high pressure. That's what you can get. You take your hose. Here's the other side of the hose. And you connect one end of your holes here. Then you got your wine. You connect your wine back on this. Push in on it. Push it like that. Tap it on there. There you go. Now you got this back together. Take this quick connect, pull the sleeve back, pull that out. This is one of your sprayers. You put it back in the slot, but I just set it up there. Then this end, what you want to do? Pull your sleeve back. Push it on there, and there you go. And you just push this around to be your car, your driveway, your walkway, whatever. Make it easy because it's rolled. Okay, it's up just high enough that it don't spray a lot of water on you. But trust, me, this is what you you don't want the one with wheels on it. Okay. See how short that is. He don't necessarily want that. They have a solution for that too. Let me show you. All right. See how long that is? This is what you want. You want to get a longer wand. All right. So you got to do this. Pull the sleeve back. Pull the quick neck off. Go back to twisting. This, you don't, need to do, you don't need to use any pliers. Take this short one off. Put that back on there. Take this longer. All right. Got this cap at the end. Okay. Yeah. Take this in just like the little one. Push it in there a little bit. Then just screw it on there, see that? Just screw that on there. Now, 
See how long that is? It's about as, almost as long as this bed. This uh, tailgate, see? Then you go here, pull back your sleeves on your quick connect. Lean back up. Now, see how much distance you have there. See how far I can go now? Yeah, what's the difference? Look here. Big difference. Save on the back. So that's the way you want to do that. This extension at Lowe's, $29. That's what you want. All right. If you uh, look in the uh, description of the video, I'll put some other links down there. You can see my amazing discovery that uh, I was on the news for 2012. All right. And you can see the product line. There's uh, three, three movies I have. Uh, for that. Just, just have to find somebody to... Uh, do the movies, okay? But anyway, back to this. That's some other, like I said, you if you enjoy some of the stuff, just tap on some of the links in, uh, in the description. And I uh, appreciate you uh, watching the video. Uh, please subscribe. You can go to my channel by tapping on the, uh, the little blue Ferrari, that's uh, right there, a little icon picture, and click on like, and uh, you get update videos, and this and that and other, and that's a wrap.